Hey guys, Bazu here. Welcome back to Memento Mordi 2. Um, we cannot go outside the window because it is too dangerous. So, how do we get inside Bateman's room? You know, because of the cockroach problem, maybe I can exchange rooms. Uh, should we talk to the manager again? Oh, actually, the professor is here. Let's talk to him. It seems Schneider is better now. It's pleasant here, isn't it? The silence, the hearth... Yes. And what's best is that there's no noisy hockey match here. My stomach has almost settled down. I'd hate to get a headache in its place. And where are all these ancient ideals of sports? What has remained of them? Nowadays, it's all about money. Hmm? Do you understand? Everything evolves, even sports. Oh no, Adam Leroy. Evolution isn't an automatic process. A lot of things stagnate, a lot of others are in regression. They are declining, which is exactly the case of modern sports. So, can you get us inside Bateman's room? D uh, do you need something from me? Yes. Is there a problem with Yatsek's room? Yes. No, nothing you should worry about. Oh, so we cannot tell him about the cockroaches. Okay, let's talk to the manager then. That truck wasn't here oh. before. Probably a new customer came. Oh, a truck with a crane. Such a car comes in handy here, that's for sure. The strong crane arm can be extended, and if the car is stabilized with those supports, it's probably able to lift even heavy items. You know what? Maybe we can use a crane to get us up onto the second floor. Just Zach's room, and... Aha! Uh -huh, there's Bateman's room. The left window leads to my room, so the right one must be to Bateman's room. Maybe I'm mistaken, but it seems a bit ajar. Oh, can we operate the crane? Oh, and here is a cabinet with controls. Let's take a look. But uh, I think we need an engine key. Okay, we'll see. Um, is it long enough to go all the way to the second floor? So... The cabinet door is locked. I suppose there's something inside which shouldn't be tampered with by unauthorized persons. Huh. And here is a lock. I didn't know these simple square locks are still in use. It's possible to open them with many different tools. Uh, we need a square wrench. I can't open this lock without the proper key. Do we have any tools? Um... Yeah, similar to the top part of the coffee grinder, actually. Wait, hold on. Let's take a look at this. Oh, a boat? Huh. When the handle is being turned, the coffee inside is ground. Does it have a square hole? Maybe I can use this. This bolt holds the handle and the grinder together. Uh... Wait, it does have a square hole. Uh-huh. Perfect square. That's what we need. <laughs> Looky, who would have known you could use a crank for this? Okay, so, uh, a button. Nothing happened. I guess I have to start it first. So I don't need a key. Uh, oh. Great, it works. Hey, what the hell are you doing there? Damn. The glove <laughs> compartment was open in this car, so I tried to close it and probably press something. Open? How could it be open? How would I know? I just tried to close it so it doesn't get broken. Yeah, you nearly got yourself into big trouble. Just close that door and don't touch it anymore, understood? I'd like to continue watching the match and not to worry about an overturned car. Sure, I won't touch it again. Oh boy, we are busted. Uh, he's here, I can't do anything with it, that's for sure. 
So can we talk to that guy? Maybe we have to distract him and then we can operate the crane. This trash is almost unwatchable. How long have you been promising to buy a new television? Three years or four? Hey Miko, don't piss me off. So why have you come at all? You've got that gigantic plasma of yours at home, don't you? I'll leave the car here. My brother called me that there's a fallen tree in the woods. He managed to drive around it with his small car, but I have no chance with my own. I'll warm up a bit and walk home. I'll pop around tomorrow or the day after, after they remove that trunk. What? You want to go home on foot? I'll take the shortcut. It'll take less than an hour to get home. It's not even a proper blizzard out there. Damn it, Miko. It's not about the weather, and you know it well. Sure, there's somebody out there in the dark waiting for me to go by chance through the woods to murder me. Okay, so he is watching a hockey game. There's some hockey game on. Only several minutes remain to the end of the third period, and the game is tied. What are you doing, woman? Change it back immediately. <laughs> Great, and I missed the end of it. Thanks, really. You're welcome. Okay, let's talk to him then. Road worker Miko. The road worker who probably owns the truck with a small crane parked outside. What? Um, hello. Could you spare a moment? Not particularly. Don't you see I'm trying to watch the match? Sure, I only have one question. Be brief. I want to borrow your crane. <laughs> Uh, about the car rack in front of the hotel. The mobile crane standing outside is yours? The Inari village owns it, but I'm responsible for it. Why? I've overheard that you can't get somewhere because of a fallen tree. I'd have thought this car would be able to remove it. Do you know what the problem is with someone who knows nothing? It's that they always think. Well, you do have a crane. When a tree falls across the road in a thick forest, you have to cut it into pieces. And even if not, this car's not going to be able to move a tree. But the crane works, doesn't it? No, I have it there just for fun. <laughs> sure it works. And what a stupid question is that? I simply stabilize the car with these supports, and then I can do what I need. Hmm. Maybe I could use that crane somehow. I admit, that was kind of stupid, Lara. <laughs> but, uh... About the way home, so you are going to walk all the way? Are you sure about going home now in the middle of the night? Mr. Copenham may be right. There may really be somebody very dangerous out there. So you two? Great. Maybe there's some murdering madman wandering about. But who has a greater chance of encountering him? Me, going at night by an unused path, or you? You in an empty hotel, glowing in the night in the middle of the woods. If you call for help now, it'll be an hour before someone comes. And you know what they say, every moth flies to the light. <laughs> you know what, he made a good point. <laughs> uh, anyway, a shot for warm. One, um, we do have the bottle of vodka, you want it? Maybe you should have something stronger before you set out. A grog, maybe? I don't drink. I know what a booze can do. Just today, I helped rescue a drunk man. And what's more, alcohol against the cold? You probably watch too many movies. It works in exactly the opposite way. Aww, I thought I could bribe him. But, um, what about the hotel owner? You probably have known one another for a long time. You mean me and Hari? Well, it's been several years already. You know, one has to get used to him. Mostly to those jokes of his. And he always urges everybody to drink something with him. That I don't want to drink because I came by car? It's impossible to explain that to him. <laughs> uh, he's just being friendly. Is it some sort of local league? What local league? <laughs> this is the first league, miss. The best hockey in the world. The locals probably consider nothing as important as a hockey match. Mm. So what can we do? We have to distract him. And he's drinking this cup of tea. The cup is full of hot tea. Can we pour vodka in? <laughs> he wouldn't like that. And get him drunk. Probo vodka. Weird name. It's quite strong, 50%. Huh. Okay, let's try this. I don't think he'll appreciate that. <laughs> Man, it's not gonna work. 
Okay, so, you know, there is a remote control over here. If we change the channel from here, he's gonna walk up all the way to the TV, and then we can pull in the Barker. Damn, just at this very moment. <laughs> yes, it is gonna work. Okay, now he's a chance. Hurry, that damn television of yours is really trash. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Volka. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I made his tea a little better. Great, I found it. It's still tied. Do you get it? Damn, Harry, you put some booze in my tea? What? Alcohol! There's alcohol in the tea! Can't you really keep anything in your head, or are you making fun of me? Please stop fussing here, it's just tea. I haven't put anything in it. Yeah, if you deny it, it's gonna be a lot more fun. Bravo! I'm splitting my sides laughing. Guys told me you changed, but I always said, No, no, old Harry is always the same. A cool guy. A buddy. But they were right. I'm going home. Bye. Aww. I feel kind of bad now. Pinko, don't be silly. <laughs> You're not going to miss the end of the match, are you? Oh, but there's really nothing in that tea. G Gah. Aww. That was quick. Oh, I'm making him walk all the way through the forest during this blizzard. I hope nothing bad happens to him. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the parking lot. Now we can tinker with the controls of the crane. So let's see. Let's look at those controls again. We're trying to get the crane all the way up to the second floor. To the window, Bayman's window. So let's turn it on. And hmm. this lever turns the crane arm around. Oh. To be more careful, or I'll tear the pub down. So the other side. Oops. Damn, I have to be more careful, or I'll tear the pub down. Okay, something is blocking the way. Is it this? The support. Those supports are used to stabilize the truck when the crane is moving. Oh. The supports can be moved manually, but for other things, the engine has to be running. Okay, there we go. This seems to adjust the crane arm's tilt. Okay. So the last lever probably extends the arm. Extends the crane. Looks like it can extend out uh, from the right, right hand side. So now it can rotate, maybe. Okay, all the way. I need the extension pointing at um uh, oh to be more careful or I'll tear the pub down. Wait, what? How about the other side? Come on. Okay, this is not working. Uh maybe two to more? Okay, that is a maximum tail right there. It doesn't work. Oh, maybe on this side. Come on, move it. Okay, almost there. I need to point this string at the window, the dark window. Maybe here? Okay, now, um... Extend the arm. Huh? Like this. Hmm, how far can it go? Oh, 
level is that? Oh, is that the maximum? Oh, still going. The crane oh. arm is now facing room number two. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. We got it. So now we can climb up to Bateman's room window. Here we go.